Hello, hello, and welcome to another edition of Rediscover Your Stash with me and Christina Sorge, and we are tackling washi today. So lots of washi, washi, washi everywhere. I'm gonna use rolls, I'm gonna use strips, we're gonna make embellishments, we're gonna make pattern paper, which is what we're gonna do right now. So this is the background paper that I chose for this layout. It's from the Felicity Jane Sophie kit. In fact, all of my embellishments and paper products and even some of the washi are gonna be from this kit. So I decided that I wanted to create a diagonal layout design. And I wanted to do strips of washi down one half of that diagonal line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all of my black and white washi patterns and I'm going to just create lots and lots of stripes using all of my black and white washi papers that I thought would look super cute on this layout. So we've got some polka dots and we've got some strips. As you can see, that one polka dot, um, for some pieces I layered up two, two sheets of washi to create a darker polka dot. And then some pieces have one strip of washi and then I also um, kind of tore them in between. Actually, this particular roll of washi, this black one with the white polka dots, was a little bit damaged so it was not going to come off in big strips. So I had to use it with breaks in it because that's how it was how it was coming off um so don't don't kick your washi out of your washi collection when it's damaged because you can still find ways to use it and that's what i did with this black and white poke this black the black one with the white polka dots so now i'm just trimming off the edges i have done this a number of times on layouts where i've created um backgrounds on to my scrapbook pages i actually have a really pretty one where i created the entire background with washi and I'm actually going to try my best to link that layout which is in my gallery at a cherry on top below so that you guys can take a look at that one as well. So as you can see here that's my photo and I want to create some embellishments to kind of float up in that upper part of my diag diagonal um, layout and I'm going to do that by this is eight and a half by eleven white cardstock. I am taking the washi strips that came in the Sophie kit and I am also taking uh, some of the gold foil washi from, uh, this is from Dear Lizzie Documentary. It's the washi book from Dear Lizzie Documentary. And I'm going to um, tear a couple pieces and I'm just gonna layer these out. Now, my fuzzy head was in a ton of this footage and who wants to see my fuzzy head? And plus I figured you get the idea of laying washi out to make stripes like this. So now I'm gonna trim up that cardstock and I'm going to punch circles, all different kinds of circles, all different sizes. I have all four of my circle punches there and I'm going to use them all. Um, and I'm just going to punch circles. So my circle punches are old. They're old creative memory punches. I think I've said that before. Um, they're like 15 years old. So yeah, they require a little elbow grease to punch these days. So, but they still punch and I keep looking at other circle punches and going, no, mine still punch so I don't know quite what I'm gonna do with that but so here I just I kept punching circles and I was really careful because I did not want to waste even the tiniest shred of this washi paper that I have going on here so as you can see I was I punched those circles as close as I could punch them and I only cut off teeny tiny little strips I got as many circles out of that little sheet of paper as I possibly could um, and this is a really great technique if you have those washi books because you can put, a, you know, tons of uh, the strips of washi from your old washi book and create these really cute layouts. And if you don't have a lot of um, coordinating products to go with that collection, you could use any punch, uh, circles, squares, hexagons, hearts, whatever. And you can use up those lovely uh, washi books quite easily. And some of them are pretty substantial like there's a lot of washi in them so now I have all of my lovely heart or circles punched out and I'm going to spread them around on the upper part of my layout so the only um the only thing I paid attention to when I did this was I made sure that that skinny little heart washi any circle that had that skinny little heart washi I flipped it around so that the hearts were not upside down I have issues with upside down hearts and then I went around with my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher and I did staple some of them together where I could move them. Um, so here I'm just gluing uh, my photo down. I'm gonna go ahead and tape down all those circles 
And then I wanted to pull some of the pink that's up in the top down into this bottom corner. And I'm gonna do that with just this little rectangle of pattern, light pattern paper, and then I'm gonna pull in more washi. So this washi is a watercolor, pink, pink watercolor washi, and it is from We Are Memory Keeper, We Are Memory Keepers. And I'm just gonna tear a little bit of a strip off there, and I'm just gonna tuck it right there under my photo. And then I'm going to create a little um, cluster with my title down there at the bottom. And then I'm going to add a very small embellishment. So I wanted, I decided that I wanted these circles each to have a little bit of their own kind of embellishment. And um, so what I'm going to do here is <clears throat> I'm going to take this little tab and I'm going to grab the blue puffy stickers that came in this kit and I'm going to use it to spell out the name and age of this adorable little boy right here um, <laughs> and how old he was in that picture. So now there's lots of fussy cutting in this layout because I used lots of um, the little printables and the little cut apart sheets that came in my Felicity Jane kit to add um, pieces and of course, you know, watching someone fussy cut is like watching paint dry. So I cut all that out. So these are um, enamel dots from Cartabello. They're Metropolitan Girl dots. I love them. I don't have anything else from this collection, but I have like three packs of the enamel dots because um, I have a thing for enamel dots. I just, I love them. So this is, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull some of the pink from up in one corner and I'm going to bring it down to that little cluster of embellishments and then I'm going to take some of the black from the black and white washi tape and I'm going to use some of those darker enamel dots to bring that darker color up into the top. And um, here I go again, just fussy cutting. <laughs> so just fussy cutting elements, adding them to my embellishment clusters until I like the way that the color is spread, spread around. And then you can see here I'm going to take these darker enamel dots and I'm going to put them up at the top here just to um, add some add some contrast and and I'm all I'm doing now is I'm just I'm going through and, and adding things where they're pleasing to my eye um, trying to spread them or spread them out in different ways and this is just the last little pieces of this layout and now it is completely finished I hope you've enjoyed this Rediscover Your Stash video today. Be sure to go check out Christina's video as well, and we will see you again soon. Bye!